the outer if you see the outer electrons of metal atoms drift and are free to move that's what i have just explained you the outer electrons are the most unstable electrons and those electrons are free to move if it uh, if those electrons in an electrical circuit they will carry charges and if they are in uh, a heat circuit they will carry heat okay so the outer electrons of the metal atoms drift so from point a to point b from one atom to other atom they actually keeps on bouncing okay so the number of free electron the more the number of free electrons are the the better will be the heat transfer or the better will be the electric uh, the charge transfer in electrical circuit okay now when the metal is heated the sea of electrons gain kinetic energy okay the kinetic energy is due to the quanta of heat that is being received by those electrons which are actually bouncing from point a to point b okay and transfer it throughout the metal as i have already you know shown uh, shown you okay now the insulators such as wood such as plastics have these c of electrons as well have these c of electrons as well okay but the thing is they do not have that affinity affinity means the this uh, the electrons are more stable in insulators than in metals okay so metals does have numerous amounts of numerous amounts of electrons those are unstable ready to bounce from one atom to another atom just after receiving the quanta but here they do not conduct means the insulators also has those kind of electrons but they are more stable so even after receiving the quanta they do jump from one atom to another but the amount is lesser so insulators they does transfer heat but the amount is very 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 less than the metal which instantaneously transfer heat or charge okay let's see something else see why does metal feel colder than wood if they both are at the same temperature and it and the answer here as i as you can already see the answer here is actually the same okay just uh, the slide that that we have just uh, seen before the answer is actually uh, you can just get it from there okay so metal is a conductor wood is an insulator metal conducts the heat away from your hands okay wood does not conduct the heat away from your hands as well as the metal so the wood feels warmer than the metal okay so the thing is metal does have numerous amount of free electrons which are actually unstable so ready to bounce from one atom to other atom whereas insulator also does has have these uh, these unstable electrons but the quantities are very 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 less so, and since the quantity is less so therefore the heat transfer will be lesser so that's why you can see the wood does not conduct the heat away from your hands as well as the metal so the wood feels warmer than the metal okay so wood conducts the heat immediately because it has got more unstable electrons whereas the wood does have unstable electrons but the quantity is not much so that's why wood is called as an insulator okay now what happens to the particle in a liquid or a gas when you heat them okay so uh, if you see it's there what happens to the particles in a liquid now we are discussing convection okay so what happens to the particles in a liquid or a gas when you heat them acha ab aap dekh sakte hain ki there is a square theek hai wahan pe aap dekh sakte hain ki the particles are very much closely kept okay so that is basically a liquid okay aur aap ek niche arrow dekh sakte hain that's a red arrow okay this is an arrow here okay so this arrow is basically heat ye aapko dikha raha hai ye heat hai okay ye liquid hai this is liquid okay and ye jo aap dekh rahe hain ek bar aapne isko heat kiya theek hai ek bar aapne isko heat kiya liquid ko to ye kis mein convert hoga it will be converted into gas and we all know that the spacing of the molecules in gas is much more higher than in case of liquid look at the spacing in the liquid and look at the spacing in the gas okay the spacing is much higher in the gas 
So what is happening actually? You're actually creating randomness into it. You're actually giving energy. And due to randomness, you're actually increasing its energy to move away, to move away from its boundation forces, to move away from its attachment bonding forces. Okay, so once you break that bonding forces, you are providing heat. So once you are breaking the bonding energies, now they are free to move. And once they are free to move within the boundary limits, the spacing increases. Okay, you can see the spacing has increased. Okay, so the basic idea is that you are actually you know breaking that bonding energy you are providing so much of it that you are breaking that bonding energy and the the molecules are not moving apart just by giving heat so this is basically you know what happens when you heat uh, a liquid so this is what happens okay so this affects fluid movement, the particles spread out and becomes less dense, okay. So this affects fluid movement, okay. What is a fluid? A fluid could be, fluid could be a liquid or a gas, okay. So this is, this is the basic basis of convection because you know the convection is the heat transfer between, uh, between a solid and a liquid, a solid or a gas or liquid or a gas gas to gas liquid to liquid okay so it requires fluid it requires fluid it requires heat so fluid could be what is a fluid then this fluid could be a liquid or a gas so this is the particular thing okay so this is all about the this thing Okay, so let's, now can you see the fluid movement, okay, cooler, more dense fluids sink through warmer. I will just explain you what's this, but let's see this, cooler, more dense fluids sink through warmer, less dense fluids. In effect, warmer liquids and gases rise up, cooler liquids and gases sink okay we, we will just see it in the next slide okay now can you see this lovely video okay what you can understand with this video by looking at this video what do you think what's happening here it's a very 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 basic phenomena of convection okay and due to this phenomena we have our weather systems okay if we do not had had it been not present in the atmosphere or had it been not present on earth then we wouldn't have our weather systems abhi kaise ho raha hai aap ye dekhiye this is a beaker which you are heating it up okay aapko ab dikhi raha hoga you are just heating it up what's happening is when the surface of the beaker is getting heated up okay the water adjacent to the bottom of this plate is getting heated up okay and just now i have shown you in the previous slide that the less dense hot hotter the fluid is okay the less dense it's become okay now since there is a difference in the density now since the density has reduced because this water is actually getting heated up okay so this water will actually rise okay and we all know and we all know that in nature we cannot maintain anything in vacuum and we are blessed with the atmospheric pressure unlike other planets so there won't be anything in vacuum so the cold fluid will actually come down to take the vacuum to take the vacuum created by updraft of the hot liquid okay so this is a very lovely video okay 